Well, this one's a biggie. Uh, uh, that's right. You've been asleep. Don't be scared. Everything will be all right. I can't see you. It's so very dark. Why can't I see you? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Are the robots people? Like, not the argument about Data, the Star Trek character, and does he count as a human, or not a human, but does he count as a person and an individual with rights? I mean, like, are they literally people? Like, they die, and they get put in this system, and then eventually they get put in robots, and that's how they lived on? Were the robots once upon a time supposed to be their immortality? And that's the loop? But then society fell, and new societies came, and then they were exploited for labor and forced to forget their history? Is, uh, is that where the story is going? We knew the ro like the robots must be important to the story. One, because they stand out as just a strange thing. Two, we have a robot with us the entire game. And three, the guy at the beginning of the game just kind of suggests that there was a bunch of robots buried somewhere, which of all of the plot details feels like it kind of comes out of nowhere. Where it's like, why is that guy suggesting that? That kind of feels like a zero skate moment where June just is weirdly expositioning about something, and then you're like, oh, that's the plot, isn't it? Tell me your name. You don't know my name? I will have you killed. My apologies. I forgive you. It is not your fault that you are ignorant. I can't... I can't feel my legs. Tell me where you think you are. The Orangery, of course. Where is Alpha? She screamed. She screamed? I couldn't see her. She was behind my chair. If you see her, tell her... Tell her she must never scream. Was there an explosion? I can hear, but I can't see. My brother was to take me to the Withering Palace. What is the Withering Palace? Where is it? The Palace of Mechanicals. You would not understand. Have... Have I been asleep? Oh. Boy. The power's gone. One of the other plinths, then. This one. But then, none of the others seem to be charged. This was the last one. Maybe we'll be able to talk to her again. The foil is her? I'll be careful with you, I promise. I can't think what I'll do with her. Nothing. Just a rock. What was that thing? A recording of some kind? Six would probably know. Ultimately, it's a. Uh, it's ultimately still just like a 
a chip. So it's like not a real person. It's a recreation of a person, I believe, like a record. But still, like we could potentially, if she is a thinking, feeling thing or something, like we, we could potentially find her a body. I don't know what I'm hoping for here. Nothing. This one's a rock, just like the others. The wellspring must be up there somewhere. <clears throat> Where does all that water go? She can't move very well up here. Oh, she's going faster now. I worry about her safety up here. Like, what? What? I do wonder, like, if she, what if she ends up like them at one point? Oh, mistress, there you are, mistress. I was able to manipulate the hopper once more to cross the bridge. In other words, here I am. Why were you like that? Six. I spoke to a ghost. I put this hoop I found on a plinth buzzing with static. And a face appeared. It spoke to me. Curious. What did it say? It mentioned a place called the Withering Palace. I have not heard that name before, mistress. And yet... What? The name fills me with dread. Time to go, mistress. <clears throat> Don't hassle me. I feel like there's still more looking around to do. Who do you think she was? The ghost in the shrine. I do not have enough evidence, mistress, but I cannot imagine most people recorded in this way. So the ghost was royalty? At least. But how did it happen? What actually is this metal hoop thing? Did you not recognize the hoop immediately, mistress? I have one. It's the hologram. Evidently, it is a robot neck. Removed and repurposed. Most macabre. Yeah, it's the ne it's the it's like a, between his shoulders is that shape. <clears throat> a neck. Certainly. It contains the projector, perhaps also the sequencer for the core. If you will, it brings the recorded soul to life. The neck animated the core that was stuck inside the figurine. The child you spoke to is not stuck anywhere, mistress. Evidently, it is merely a recording. But it's a child that was found... ...by Renba. Perhaps there were metal hoops on all of these shrines originally. They might have been looted, if they're valuable. This was the oldest one I found. I would date it to the very I would date it to the very earliest days of the Empire. A stone is different, older, and from a different source. Where is it from? I cannot be a hundred percent certain. But if you had to guess, I estimate the old stone is from Elbereth. The stone is from Elbereth? Are you sure? As I said, not a hundred percent, mistress. But, 96.5 is not so far from a hundred. The old grave we found. 
Does it suggest that Elbereth was important in Thirdly Empire? If so, that's new to me. That would be a strong conclusion to read from a single choice of building material. Perhaps Elbreth stone was as cheap as its labor. Are there any other Elbreth stones here? The other stones are from the local stone, as might be expected. So after that first grave, the, tra the tradition changed? Interesting. I wonder why. Gonna go all the way back around again. I can't. I can't tell what the prompt is. It's not popping up now. I started. The tradition changed for the obvious reason, Mistress. As Elbert is hardly known for its comforts. Replace the hoop. Hmm. I feel like we're gonna need the hoop. <clears throat> Can you really record a whole person? Give it enough time, perhaps. Once again, mistress, you have forgotten who you are talking to. Locked. Anyway, it doesn't look safe out that way. There's nothing but sky down there. This whole place, Six. It must have once been filled with voices like hers. A head atop every shrine. All talking. Arguing. Laughing. This place was a haven. And now, you could hear a pebble drop. You forget who you're talking to. Do they all know that robots already recorded people? A stone setting. Either someone was making preparations when this place was abandoned, or the shrine that stood there was removed. I would have expected something grander for an emperor. A tomb. A mausoleum. These graves are so small. These, these are not public graves, mistress. There was no one here to impress. Hmm. This is all interesting. It's a good moon for a graveyard. He said the weather here was calm. Whoever built this place had their pick of moons, mistress. He came across the bridge he said not to cross, huh? From the beginning. More markings here. Whoa, that's a long one. This one's a broken piece from an even longer phrase. I will say this game's relatively chill about the actual puzzle element, and it's more like a, a visual novel crossed with an adventure game to an extent. Uh, what is funny is that when I settled down to pick this game, I had already pre-recorded the entirety of Black Sad with Toaster, and I was like, one, this game was the game Black Sad, not this game. Black Sad is bad, but it's also an adventure game that's very that has almost no puzzle solving of any kind, really, especially as it gets going. Uh, it's mostly just it's very much the Telltale model, the more modern Telltale model. So I was like, you know what? It's been a while, especially since Hi-Fi Rush accidentally took over the indie puzzle slot for a while. I'm gonna go cover a puzzle game next. <laughs> And then Black said, was, uh, like, I was gonna, I wanted to cover a puzzle game, a, a, a somewhat more hardcore puzzle game, but, but argue, potentially. Just something that felt especially puzzly. And then air Black Sad. Like, I just wanted to break it up by having another proper puzzle game. I'm probably gonna air Black Sad after this, just because, uh, I already recorded it, I don't wanna sit on it forever. But, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little, like, oops, over the fact that I didn't really find a proper puzzle game. This game is really neat. I don't regret playing it at all. It's just that it's not the... It, it doesn't really ultimately scratch the particular niche that I was hoping that it would for my next game. But that's just what playing games blind does. I can never be fully sure. All I knew is it was a, a very heavily recommended game that was in fact uh, labeled as a puzzle game. And that's all I had to go on. 
doesn't feel right. Getting rid of humans. Return looks too accurate to be not counted. Emperor will return. Gone. The opposite of hold. Emperor is gone. Emperor will return. The equivalent of uh, the king is dead. Long live the king. Emperor is gone. Emperor will return. The loop teaches that souls who die return. I suppose that's what people believed. These gardens here are quite remarkable. But these graves are surprisingly simple. No great tombs or mausoleums. Has this place been ransacked? It does not look to have been touched at all, mistress. Only grown over. Perhaps they believe their souls will return to the rivers. Did the Empress believe in the loop? This place is a graveyard connected to the Empire. A graveyard of Emperors, perhaps. A child so quickly went to, You don't know who I am? I will have you executed. But then it was like, I forgive you. Like a child Emperor, completely immature. But thinks that that kind of stuff is a power in their hand to begin with, which is noteworthy. The shrine outside the, her the hermitage on the moon near Mercy. It was just like these, I suppose. And just like these, it had run out of power. That seems likely, mistress. This one's buried. I need a machete to find any inscriptions. This isn't a temple, then. It didn't look much like one. Smooth. No charge, no inscription. So the Emperor, hiding on the hideout moon, they brought the shine and the foil with them. And they hid the foil inside the figurine. Whoever that recording was, they must have been important. If the last Emperor was truly intending to hide for the remainder of his life, well, Mistress, I observe that most humans do not wish to be alone. I wonder who she was. Who she really was. Her recording seemed to restart. I wonder if that always happens, or if that was because of how defunct the thing was. The Emperor took the recording I saw in the graveyard to the Ruined Moon and hid her. And it wasn't Renba who hid the, ho the foil at all. He didn't even find it. Remember, really was a terrible archaeologist. Rude. You didn't even know he was an archaeologist until this adventure, and he did most of the work. <laughs> oh. Eek. That was too close. Wow. How? Mistress, what are you doing? The stone just collapsed. I didn't do anything. I do not believe there is anyone else here to talk to. We have found three intriguing artifacts here. Also, we have located two new locations of interest. The Withering Palace and the Age of Sales site. Are you ready to go yet, mistress? Do it. That was our goal anyway. 
It's funny considering that going that way may have been... If I'd gone that way first, he probably would have come with me and discovered the child with me and had a different experience. That's interesting. It seemed to have been strong enough, because isn't that how he got here? I have to double check what he said about how he got here, but I thought maybe he came across there. I oh, know he said he teleported, huh? It's kind of comical that that thing was so prone to collapsing that one human was enough, but it's still persisting otherwise. A curious place, mistress. I was talking to the voice of a dead emperor. Indeed. Old emperors to advise new ones. Immortality of a kind. Although if you're recording children, I don't know how helpful that is. Mistress. What if the rivers aren't natural at all? What if they weren't created by storms or magnetic fields or anything like that? What else could they be? What if they were drawn by a painter with a brush? How would such a thing be done? Imagine a ship dragging flows behind it the way a plow drags at a furrow, a tapestry of cloud and smoke. The wellsprings drive the flows, mistress. Don't tell me you believe the wellsprings are natural. They exist in nature, mistress. Like water wellsprings, or... Specifically... I don't know. Are these literally just rivers that flow straight off of the moons into space? Is that supposed to be how this works? Because that's some crazy shit. Unexplored ruin, ruin. Uh, I guess I have to start sailing first. They're not here. This thing. I wondered if the thing Toppy gave us was a compass. But no matter how I fiddled with it, I only it only points where I point it. Indeed, mistress. In my opinion, it has more of the appearance of a spatial calculator. A spatial calculator? Indeed, mistress. Somehow, by leveling the rings, one outputs the direction of Whew. Whatever it is the device is intended to calculate. Hmm. It's... But such a calculator would clearly only work in a fixed point in space. So I cannot see the purpose of it. Let's take to the river. So it must only be usable in a specific predetermined location. Maybe the ending? Maybe even the shrine we saw at the end of the game. The Heaven's Vault, or whatever it is. The title Heaven's Vault definitely seems like it has more meaning. Okay, so those go away. But that one's still there. Oh my god, what a path. What a brutally long path to get there. The Age of Sail. Huh. 
Unexplored Ruins. Okay, so all the ruins that are up here on the top of the map. Which are hard to click on. At least have significance here. Hmm. You know what? I think it's been long enough. I think it's time to cave and talk to Miari 10 hours into the game. Wait, no, I was trying to leave. Where are we charted towards? Iox. Ah, dang it. Ah, oh, and I also got the controls wrong again. I always want to steer with the joystick. <clears throat> I was going to fast travel, realizing that I could do that. But I guess because I was already in this meter, pressing B wasn't cancelled, it went back in. The Holy Empire was founded on a belief in a rebirth. They believed in the loop. Graveyards were unnecessary. Perhaps the Emperors did not believe in the loop. Humans, I have observed, are fickle. Maybe even if you believe in something, you still prepare for the worst. Or other things, because you have the wealth for it. But also, the loop is totally a thing you could definitely use ideologi ideologically and abuse to get people to do what you want. Akin to the Christian idea of sin and heaven. Be a good worker or fill your role in our society that we tell you is best and the next life will be worth it. Huang will be waiting, no doubt. You'll have found a frog to show me or something. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna go ape. Do you like Master Huang, mistress? I have no problem with him. Curious. I find him feeble-minded and tiresome. It's the other option. Man. But I can't decide if my view is objectively or merely subjectively correct. Both of our characters can be so mean. Set us down, Six. I've avoided this place for a while. At this point, I feel like the story has gotten so much larger than anything that we're actually dealing with. Look at this place, six. It looks modern, but it's ancient. Here and there, bits of architecture go back thousands of years. We're kind of friends now. I don't see Huang. Aliyah, is that Huang? Professor Miari is anticipating you. Is she in a good mood? How could one tell? Good faith to you, Aliyah. I don't... maybe that wasn't Huang. Might have been the person that was mean to me. 
Or just some random new person. Can I go in here? I think I couldn't. The library. library is a quiet spot to think. Except when Huang's in there. Which, of course, he always is. I'm surprised it's Huang instead of Huang. It's the nerd that's into you. How old are these books of yours? Some are really old. But not, you know, not ancient. They dated back to the first empress or so. Listen, Huang. Did you ever hear of the Withering Palace? Most likely an Empire period site. Not too old. Maybe. I don't know. You know anything about an ancient observatory? No, don't think so. I found something Renba discovered near Elbereth. Oh, yes? It was a ship. Underground. Underground? How did it get there? I think it flew there, or rather it crashed there. And how did he find it? Wang, do you know... Do you think the robots know more than they say about the past? I'm sure they do. I think the robots can read ancient. Why aren't there any older books? I don't know. There just aren't. I suppose they were all lost in the fall. I've been finding some truly ancient sites. Places far out in the reaches that must have once been wealthy. Abandoned? Lost in the clouds. The moons must have drifted away from the rivers. Or the rivers drifted away from the moons. My ox is old. They're always finding new layers to this place, you know that? Ajax has been around forever. It probably all started here. The future or the past? Both. That's why everyone wants to be on Ajax. This is where you need to be when the loop closes. Have you found any artifacts you want me to look at? Quite a few. Have you ever seen anything like this brooch? That's a nice piece. Not seen anything quite like that. Can you tell me anything? The symbology is classic Holy Empire, of course. The Eagle and Sun. Older, more ancient versions have more naturalistic birds. Oh, looks heavy to me. The eagle! That's the thing I kept thinking about and then forgetting about. She had a very specific strange comment that the dig site from four hours ago uh, could fit an eagle. And I'm like, eagles aren't big. That's a weird comment. How big are eagles in this mythology? Or is she, or was she referring to like a ship by that name, for example? Heavy brooches hold up heavy cloth. Light brooches hold up light cloth. So it must have belonged to someone important. You want me to archive the brooch? Not finished with it yet. 
Oh, well, of course. That's funny. Hmm. The fate of these poor relics are to the whims of this one adventurer. <laughs> so they can all go in a museum, or I can trade them in order to solve... Uh, I can trade them in order to solve story beats and have something of value to get something else out of. Uh, or I can use them somewhat flippantly to get a gecko. <laughs> Take a look at this spherical device. Interesting. Not sure we have anything quite like that one. I'll take the spherical device to the archives then. Okay, so he's not telling me much about these things. Aaliyah, I can't help but notice. You seem to keep back a lot of things. Things that belong here in the university where they will be safe. They're important for my research. They aren't artifacts, they're objects. They have purposes, places, histories. I need them to understand the nebula. Right. Of course. Sorry to, you know. I mean, it's you guys that insist that uh, history doesn't exist. Why do you want artifacts that have historical significance? I uncovered something you might like to see. Let's see now. There's a fragment of, of inscription. I read it as citizen and friend. Not convinced by the word friend here. I agree. We decide that's the bad one. Then stranger then was what I lo I otherwise thought. Can't get this one wrong forever, can I? Citizen and stranger. Thanks, Wang. Read anything good lately? I've been indexing mostly. Found a piece of paper you might be interested in. Let's see now. There's a fragment of inscription I can read it as temples will open again. Yeah, I think you're correct about open. Getting second opinions here. Discover something you might enjoy. I definitely keep wanting to skip past the text that repeats. <laughs> Just to get to the results faster. The gods will bless you. Oh, that's the end of that, I guess. <laughs> that one didn't go anywhere. Just, oh, it's interesting. No follow-up. And I guess no more conversation? That prompt went away too? Hmm. Be seeing you, Huang. Wonder if I could have gone there in the first place? I'm the department mistress? We have to talk to Miari. At gunpoint. <laughs> she will already be aware of our presence, I am sure. But the real question is the Withering Palace. The voice in the statue mentioned it. The voice told you something? Most interesting. We're gonna find out that you've known all along. It's like the tree on the lush moon. Indeed, mistress. I believe this one may be a clipping from that one. So I like crystals from the site of Renba's cache must have been mined during the Empire period. To make things like that brooch Renba found. 
There might be some evidence that of that work left. Or some artifacts that connect sites. From connected sites. So the tree here always had significance. It's not just a pretty tree. It connects to the Empire's hologram graveyard. Aaliyah, you're back. But I don't know if I want to ask what you found. Maybe you don't, Professor. It's not good news. I'm not a child. Just tell me what you saw. He's dead, Professor. His ship blew up as he tried to leave an off-river moon. Interesting. You're certain? We are quite certain, Professor. Did you go anywhere except Mercy, Alaya? Renbo went off exploring the rivers. He was using fuel to propel himself. That must be how he blew himself up. Renba appeared to be investigating an abandoned hermitage. And you followed him. What did you find there? Someone had lived out there once. We found a ruined building. A hermit from Mercy, I think. Nothing more. One other thing happened. Mistress. Go on. The hopper malfunctioned. And I spoke to Renba. I fear my mistress is now disassembling, Professor. Though to what end I... Slyset. I thought Renba was dead. He spoke to me through a robot, somehow. And what did he have to say? He said you weren't who you claim. And did that make any sense to you? Does it make sense to you? No. Poor Renba. He was never the most stable character. So, perhaps Renba found something, and it shared his fate. Professor, I fear Mistress Aaliyah is not being entirely honest. There was a crown. But I don't have it on me. I am afraid Mistress Aaliyah passed on our most precious find, a crown, to a contact in Albreth, Mistress Miari. That's a mercenary act, Aaliyah. I always assumed you made a little on the side, but... I didn't sell it. My friend's a mechanist. She's just looking at it. So you're going to bring it back to me. Go and fetch it. I look forward to seeing it. Off you go. Well, you don't seem to care much about the dead guy. All that, all that much considered. Immediately throwing doubt on his own sanity. The moment he questioned you. Professor, have you ever heard anything about an ancient observatory? That's a curious question. It's something Renba talked about. In the message he left for me.
to find an observatory. Interesting. Please, Aaliyah. Go away. Wow, she's awful. <laughs> Just all that setup put off all this time and she she doesn't provide any information so she's she really didn't push the journey along one last thing Aaliyah tell me honestly how are you finding your new companion are you working well together I wouldn't say that Six is petty, rule-bound, and a coward, which is exactly what you need. Robots are valuable things, Aaliyah. I want to know immediately if anything happens to this one. I hope that's clear. I told you about the message Redma sent. I'm pretty sure it was Six he was speaking through. I should think it was. Shall we leave now, mistress? Not just yet. I want to see if I can explore more. The telescopes Renbo found. They must be linked to the observatory somehow. If the scopes were perhaps in communication with each other, mistress, perhaps their connection to the observatory might be similarly traceable. One of my gut reactions to the story right now would be to guess that, that the robot is Renba. Or a copy. You know, Renba must have seen that figurine of, of Kabenya. He must have seen the goddess of Maersi, too. But he didn't think to take it to them. He was too concerned with his own finds. I wonder if I had met him. If I would have liked him. All this dialogue prods me towards thinking the robot is Renba, or a copy. My confusion comes from the fact that I think we heard dialogue saying that he met Renba. But I guess you can also record people without them being dead, so who knows. The scope Renba found in the buried boat led him to the hideout. The scope he found there might have led him on, and then his ship exploded. If only there was a way to find out where he was going. I tried putting the scope on the stand because it seemed to be where, it's, where it would connect and it didn't seem to do anything. Was Huang right, Six? Can you read ancient script? No, mistress. Obviously not. But why can't you read script? Evidently, it is certainly true. I am as old as most scripts we have found, but I remember nothing from before Master Renba activated me. I wonder if the knowledge of script is in there somewhere. I am sure I would know if that were true, mistress. I think perhaps the knowledge was erased before me and my kind were buried away. Do you like other robots, Six? I have not much spent, spent much time with them. That's avoiding the question. I suppose it is, Mistress. I cannot think to ha how to answer the question truthfully. I've dug on scores of moons, Six. You know, I've never found robots buried in any of them. Only on Iox. I assume we were stored there, in case we were needed. In case you were needed for what? 
for following me around. I will not speculate why Master Professor Mayari considers you important enough to have a robot mistress. I don't know why Mayari keeps giving them to me either. Unless she's trying to get rid of them. Aaliyah. Good faith to you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> that was that entire interaction. Hello. Remember this? It's just like the one in the garden. I believe that sundial to be significantly older than this one, mistress. Furthermore, that one was not made on Iox. Look at this thing, Six. Did you know it's the oldest thing in Iox? Or so they say. Evidently, it is said to be a sundial mistress. It's really frustrating that I keep getting a, I keep getting prompts that are on the bottom of the screen and prompts that are in the middle of the screen, and they're both the same button. So I don't even know which one I'm doing half the time. I think that I think it ignores the bottom of the screen. What do you make of it, Six? It seems to me the sundial could never have worked, Mistress. At least not in this location. Was the sundial made here? Of course, mistress. Curiously enough. Why is that an of course? There's a few words in this one. Well, how do we miss this one? Mistress, that translation's clearly incorrect. There must be another phrasing. Hmm, palace was wrong. I've done something wrong. Nope. Ignore all of the people icons. They're betrayers. Oh. I did not have much. My translation for cannot is off. Will not then? Obedience? Empire? I considered that word to be empire, but I've never been sure. But it's the same word without the apostrophe, so maybe it is just empire. Empire will not be separate, divided, near. Could be divided. If the one on the right means separate and the one to its left means not separate because there's an X meaning near, and this could be divided. Bit of a leap. The empire will not be divided. I wonder if anyone knew that was there. Maybe the sundial isn't a timepiece after all. Perhaps it's simply art. Art without meaning is void, mistress. You're full of surprises, Six. Let's get off this rock. This way, mistress. Interesting. So I chose an interesting time to come back because I don't currently have the crown. And so she practically won't talk to me. But her wanting the crown makes me not want to bring the crown back. I was correct to be worried about 
his honesty. Mistress. Seem to be done contemplating space for now. That is a big pre-empire site. I will ready the tackle, mistress. At this point, there's a question of how do you get to these places that hopefully, presumably, have ocean pointing at them, but we don't know what? That's a long trip. I'll give it a go. Let's check out the ruin before we go anywhere else. I was tempted to teleport back to Elbereth, but I think I can't leave that. Once I look at the map and it marks all my objectives, I think I then can't turn around and leave. So I'm still stuck here. So I don't think there is a fast travel option at that point. Even though it's one of the places you can fast travel to. Which is a little rough, because the game reiterates what your actual objectives are on the map more clearly after you've already opened it. And then you, I think you can't go back. You don't have friendships with other robots, if that's what you mean. A few other robots might help you understand yourself. There is nothing to understand. Mistress, I do not wish to f discuss this further. Really? Why not? Pushy, we are. I appreciate your understanding, mistress. Thank you. So he's avoiding the subject of even understanding himself more. Or the premise of that idea. Feels like it's further directing us then at the idea that that's who she, that's who he's supposed to be. In the Withering Palace, Six. Somewhere in the Withering Ways, perhaps? So they already have an area that's, that shares a name with the palace that they found out they need to find? Well, that's a hell of a lead. <laughs> yeah, it's probably over there. <laughs> Pretty good starting point. More of a lead than I thought we would have. I 
say on Iox, that the rivers flow with the souls of the dead. Anything to scare you to the ground. There we go. Tagged it. I was like, please let me tag it. Wow, there really is just a funny little house on the side of the road sometimes. That's very funny. It was so surreal the first time I saw it, and little did I know they're just all over the entire map. The ruin appears to date from ancient times, mistress. It should only take a few moments. I recovered a sextant. A sex tape? I wonder how long it's been there. The casting has been carved with glyphs. This one is a phrase run together. Big one? No. This one? Two con two apostrophes next to each other. How the hell do you know that? Tells. Ooh. I nailed paths right away. That was a bit of a of a leap. Okay, so that's the squiggle that I associate with paths. Many paths? Death will not hold you for long. Uh, that one's hard to be sure about. The grammar context. Something tells of something's path. I think we're associating this thing with apostrophes, the, the, this apostrophe with that thing. Pilgrim's Paths. Nebula tells a, a Pilgrim's Paths, because that's where the paths are. Does Nebula tell of Pilgrim's Paths make sense? I should get Huang's opinion on that when we get back to the university. Hmm. So now we know it works that way. Most likely this comes from the same set as the piece of paper. The one we discovered floating in space. The robot I met in the hideout moon. Six. It said something strange. Yes, mistress. It said a great darkness was coming. What did it mean? It sounded like a threat. I do not believe in spooky threats, mistress. I'm trying to wrap this, however. I'm trying to wrap this up, but I've autopiloted into another thing, it looks like. Master Remba did not lose his life out here without some cause. A wreck. <laughs> it's a shipwreck from the Oxian Empire, Mistress. I will investigate, Mistress. I found a scratched silver pendant fashioned like a fountain. Just lying out there? Look there. 
It's small, but there's an eagle and sun motif. No inscription on the pendant. Oh, just more items. That's it. What a visual when you see it like that. It has it, I guess this comes from the same source as the, dev as the devotional icon in the square foil we found earlier. We have a lot of information on a place that's called the Withering Palace now. That should make the location easier to find. Did I just find it? Maybe I just found the Withering Palace. Yep. Nope, that's uh... That got a lot more specific all of a sudden, didn't it? But we should really go to Albreth next, I think. Let's land at Albreth. Just so I can, as I st stop for the day, I can just be sure that the game saved. Must be returned to Albreth, Mistress. I dislike the place. Aren't you the one that wants me to find... The, to bring the crown back? Moments like this, I just desperately wish I could skip the cutscene a little bit. Or skip the bonus descriptions. So this early empire, an effigy fashioned from an antler. Most likely came from somewhere close by. The base seems to be inscribed. Alright, let's do this now. May gods hold... You, your... It's a modification of you. May gods hold your... Stranger. May gods hold your... Heart? Maybe. Or Mark. May gods hold your mark. I'd say this comes from the pre-Empire site. Should help us work out where to look for it. To this day, I'm not really sure how they're triangulating locations ever. The river to the left should bring us to the... Yep. So the last emperor killed the hermit who lived on the moon we found. Then the emperor buried them in the dirt. We only know that the emperor outlived them. We do not know there was a murder. Set us down, Six. That's true, we could be making a leap there. Maybe they were lovers. And then that person eventually died and just didn't believe in the loop. Although I think the... Wasn't there something insulting on the grave? I think there was something insulting on the grave. Hmm. 